YouTube. As you can see, I've got a new tank bag. It's a Yamaha OEM one designed specifically for my Super Tenere. So why don't you stay tuned and come back after the intro and I'll tell you what I think of it. designed specifically for the uh, Super Tenere uh, XT1200Z or ZE, same fuel tanks which should fit both. Uh, and as you can see, it's got a pretty decent shape uh, following the contours of the uh, fuel tank. And it's got a really simple attaching system. So at the rear here is a frog clip. Just snap that off. Magnetic base, which then lifts off. And then a hook just at the front. Makes it nice and simple. Uh, and I think the overall shape looks nice it keeps the top nice flat and level and it makes use of all the space in the tank bag right down to the bottom let's jump in and have a look at some of the internal features so inside two zips there's a pocket up in the top here uh, we've got uh, plenty of space for me to fit in camera bag I have a bits box in there as well and my Joby uh, tripod and just in the top of this zipper cover is a waterproof cover. There is also a additional third zipper which allows you to increase the capability of the tank bag uh, quite considerably. So there you go, quite a lot more room there. Now you can also see this little fanny pack, not fanny pack, I'm not calling it a fanny pack at all. Uh, or a bum bag or whatever else you might want to use um, but strapped on there great for wallet keys um, whatever that kind of stuff and it pops off quite simply now it doesn't get in the way I thought this would sit there it would push me back in the seat a bit but it actually doesn't um, sits there quite nicely I don't really notice it so yeah uh, quite happy to keep using that bag and, until I don't need to uh, on the back of the bag there's also a couple of additional loops so you could put it on your belt if you fancy I'm not that guy not that guy also worth mentioning are the zips. They've got uh, little spring plates in them so that they naturally hold down. That stops the zip from flapping around, which is a great feature. I'm not sure why they didn't put that on there as well, because obviously that's just going to flap around. We don't like that. You can also see there is a shoulder strap. I tend generally keep my shoulder strap fitted to the outside of the tank bag, wrapped around. Um, it's there if I need it, but it doesn't take any storage room inside the tank bag um, to keep a hold of it. So uh, I think it's quite a handy feature. Right. We talked briefly about ride comfort and uh, how this performs, so why don't we pack all this up and head out on the road and we'll talk about fitting and riding with this on the Super Tenere 1200. See you in a sec. Would you look at that? Bit choppy today. So I wanted to talk about the uh, the actual ride comfort of the tank bag on the bike. Uh, and all in all, spoiler alert, yeah, it's it's pretty good. Um, the Shad E22 I had tended to push me back in the seat, made me quite uncomfortable, and I really felt that when I was putting my legs down and I had to shift my weight a little bit forward. However, this one, uh, probably because it's tailor-made for this bike don't feel that at all. It feels uh, structured and well placed uh, and not in the way. Now even with that fanny pack, non fanny pack thing, uh, yes I can feel it there but it does give, it, it, it moves up and down so it won't completely stop and push you back and as I say you know it's an optional extra, you don't have to use it, you can just whip it off. Haha, -ha, that's what she said. But all in all, I think it's a, a pretty decent fit. Now, when I'm uh, riding on some twisties, you've got to move around a bit. I don't feel it getting in the way. 
I can come to the left quite easy, to the right, I've got some good weight forward and obviously it's not going to get in the way behind me. Uh, and I don't feel it's shifting around now. When you look at it, because I've got it, you know, I've got a massive camera and a massive lens in there, uh, it does sit a little bit top heavy, but I am not concerned at all with it dropping off. So I'm quite pleased with the fit uh, and how it carries its load. In terms of load carrying, uh, I suppose my only criticism uh, would be uh, that bit of a wobble that I've got with the load in it uh, and that could probably be reinforced with maybe some side straps that came down from the corners uh, and hooked around either the frame or the base of the fuel tank. Uh, not critical, I think I've done a couple of miles with it and uh, I've not felt it excessively wobble. You know, you don't really notice it doing its thing and I, I have complete faith in the attachment system that it's not going to fly off. That front clip is a painted metal, like a, it's almost going to go rubber coating on it. That piece is well stitched onto a, a piece of heavy cord or a webbing strap, uh, as is the rear ratchet strap which is attached to the, essentially the subframe of the bike. It's a meaty frog clip, so again uh, no worries that that's going to snap and you'll notice that there is a sheath upon the frog clip uh, so you can't knock it by accident, you can't accidentally open it or anything like that. Uh, and it also just stops the plastic on metal rubbing which is a nice feature. The magnets in the base of the tank are pretty substantial, you do have to put a little bit of force to pull them off but again between that magnet and the fuel tank there is a, uh, a meaty bit of uh, base plate a very thick cordura, uh, cordura? <laughs> a very thick bit of cordura, cordura cords. Ah, oh, just tough material is what it is. So I have, yeah, I've got every confidence in it. Uh, what I now need to do is really start hammering at the miles. Uh, at the moment, I cannot speak for its weatherproofness. Um, the waterproof cover that comes with it is nothing special. Uh, we've all seen those before in other tank bags. Uh, so. I wouldn't say it's super waterproof, but it will certainly allow the rain to run off and not gather. Uh, and again, because it's a structured design and quite flat, the water will tend to run off and not pool anywhere. So uh, that, that will help the stuff inside stay dry. But I always carry camera gear in the tank bag. So at the very hint of a drop of rain, I am pulling over and bagging up because, you know, camera gear. <laughs> So there you go, um, I, I guess my final conclusion would be um, I'm really happy with the, uh, the design of the bag, that's the most important, and the features that the bag has. Uh, I'm impressed with the build quality, seems very rugged uh, and, and pretty decently well made. Uh, and in terms of how it sits on the bike, yeah, I'm happy, I guess I'm a bit nervous, tiny bit nervous about the, uh, the little wobble I've got there, but uh, these do come highly recommended from other Super 10 riders. So, uh, you know, if you've had an issue with one falling off, I'd love to hear about it. Drop me a, drop me a note in the comments. On that note, then, I'll say uh, I hope you found the video useful. There are dozens and dozens and dozens of tank bags that will fit the Super 10 array. This one contained the most features that I was after, so uh, I'm pleased about that. And uh, I will let you know uh, how it goes with it once we get uh, out to touring again. If you enjoyed the video, uh, I'd appreciate you giving me a like down below. Uh, leave a comment if you've got a uh, if you've got one of these tank bags. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts on it, and uh, especially if you're a Super 10 rider. As always, it would mean the world to me if you uh, gave me a subscribe uh, and click the little bell so you can see when uh, my new videos come out. But I wish you all a great day. Whatever you're doing, stay safe, look after each other, and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.